Hey everybody, it's Matt from nsickness.org. Today I'm going to be talking about how long COVID is fueled by mast cell activation. First, I'm going to discuss my experiences, my client experiences, how COVID set off their mast cell activation symptoms. I'm going to go over some of the studies. Then I'm going to talk about how COVID can alter mast cell function, how it can upregulate existing pathogens that are in your body, disrupting mast cells further. How could then uh, throw off your gut microbiome, get rid of important immune modulating bacteria which can trigger mast cells as well. I'll talk about how the food environment and synthetic irritants kind of pop up out of nowhere after COVID, how a lot of people become intolerant to foods, things in their environment, different synthetic products post COVID, mostly due to mast cell activation. I'm going to talk about how this cascade of inflammation perpetuates over and over and over again because of these reactions that I'm talking about. And, uh, and I'm going to mention most importantly, how mast cells are the driving force behind this long COVID experience that people keep uh, battling over and over again, and uh, how you have to treat long COVID like mast cell activation, otherwise you'll be stuck in this battle for a long, long time. So that is what I'm gonna be overviewing today. First, let's talk about my experiences. I had uh, long COVID, I had COVID, uh, I got what you would call long COVID, uh, lasted some be somewhere between three and six months. You know, I didn't feel 100% until six months. Um, but, you know, I noticed that when I got COVID, a lot of my reactions that were gone for years started to kind of feel like they were coming back a little bit. Um, at the time, I was working with clients that had gotten COVID as well, whose reactions got significantly worse afterwards. So I know that, that uh, COVID was affecting mast cells in some way, so I wanted to look further into it. Came across some studies, and it showed that COVID long COVID and mast cell activation are nearly identical in the symptoms that they produce. Mast cell activation, I think they showed 86% identical uh, symptoms when they compared people who had long COVID versus people who had mast cell activation. So they're almost the same thing. And that led me to realize that, hey, maybe long COVID is caused by mast cell activation like most chronic conditions. So first, let's talk about how COVID can alter your mast cell function. It's been shown um, in studies to alter the the function of mast cells, they make them overproduce or oversecrete histamine and other inflammatory chemicals. And uh, when that happens, the mast cells become more reactive to everything in the environment, including stressors, various things that are, that are inhaled, put in the body, etc. And this could cause a chronic inflammatory process to start. So first and foremost, long COVID or COVID alters mast cell function to make them secrete more histamine than usual and they have this dysregulated immune function afterwards. Um, it also can upregulate existing pathogens that are in the stomach, that are in the body. A lot of these pathogens use signaling to be able to understand if it's time to, uh, time to replicate, if it's, if it's safe to replicate or expand in the body. And uh, once they see that the virus has triggered all these inflammatory molecules through the roof, then it tells the pathogens, hey, time to come out and play, time to replicate, let's get going guys. So, it's not um, always just sim sim as simple as COVID altering mast cell function. A lot of the time they can change the degree of pathogens that are in the body, the amount of pathogens, the uh, aggressiveness of these infections, etc. I've seen on multiple occasions where infections were not picked up on tests. People had COVID, got tests right afterwards and infections came, came back through the roof. And um, the theory was is because COVID uh, told those pathogens, hey, it's time to come out and play in essence. So it disrupts the gut microbiome. They showed that a lot of the immune modulating bacteria that are in the stomach were uh, reduced dramatically. One of them being bifidobacterium, other ones uh, that are immune modulating were also reduced. Um, and this is critical because when you have a reduction in your immune modulating bacteria in your stomach, guess what? You start reacting to different foods, environmental cues, synthetics, as I'll mention there, various things that you put in your body now become potential irritants, right? So food, environment, and synthetics, this is where a lot of people get caught up. They end up eating the same food, they go and stay in the same environment, and they keep taking the same th synthetic vitamins or pharmaceuticals after they have COVID, um, as they were taking them before COVID. And they think that everything is gonna respond the same way as it did before COVID. Well, that's not true. Unfortunately, a lot of people who have these hidden infections or dormant issues in their body, then they get COVID, they start reacting to foods differently and they keep eating the same food. Next thing you know, you got food sensitivities that are causing most of these symptoms. Environmental sensitivities, these things are very severe. I mean, people can be inhaling things all throughout their day in their home, 
and that could be triggering the immune function to be, go through the roof. I've seen it my daughter, I've seen it myself. Um, and then synthetics, for whatever reason, after COVID, people who have long COVID don't tolerate synthetic anything very well. And uh, it's really because the body knows it's not natural and that it's, uh, it's actually a toxin. Anything that's synthetic has to be removed in the same way as toxins do through uh, the use of glutathione. And if glutathione levels are depleted, um, or the body's been under a lot of stress, then it will deplete glutathione levels that will make it very difficult to remove synthetics quickly from the body, and uh, that could cause problems. So the cascade of inflammation is due to a lot of these factors that, that they constantly talk about, but in my experience, the food, the environments, the synthetics are the one, things that keep on making the inflammatory cycle persist. You're eating three times a day. Then you're living in an environment where you're inhaling things that could be triggering you. Then you're taking these pharmaceuticals or these synthetic vitamins, like these multivitamins, vitamin C, all these things. People don't realize that the, the same reactions they were having or what, how they were reacting before COVID and after COVID is not going to be the same all the time when you get long COVID. So the food, the environmental reactions, the synthetics perpetuate this cycle of inflammation that doesn't seem to go away until um, your, body is, uh, your body gets back into balance or you remove yourself from all these irritants, right? Uh, mast cells are the driving factor behind long COVID, okay? Um, the reason being is all these things that COVID does to you, they affect mast cells. And mast cells send signals to the rest of the immune system, all the other immune cells. And if you, uh, if you don't calm down the mast cells, then everything else continues to persist, right? You have to treat long COVID like mast cell activation or else, right? Mast cell activation um, consists of, you know, treating Treating mast cell activation uh, consists of eliminating these dietary irritants, the environmental irritants, removing the synthetics from their, their lifestyle, their environment, um, focusing on modulating mast cells with various herbs, natural derived, plant derived molecules, uh, focusing on removing infections, you know, bacterial, fungal, parasitic infections, etc. All these things are issues in mast cell activation, and my hunch is that they are also issues in long COVID because people who get long COVID. Um, they showed about, I think it was about 13 to 16% of people who got COVID had symptoms that lasted longer than a few months. So, you know, my hunch is a lot of these people had existing things going on in their body and COVID basically sent them over the edge, right? Um, in summary, key points, these, long COVID is very real. It can cause you a number of health issues you didn't have before. Um, it can alter your mast cell function. It can upregulate existing pathogens. It can get rid of your good bacteria that keeps your immune system calm. It can cause you to have new food, environmental, and synthetic sensitivities, which I think is the most important topic in this whole video. It can keep this, those sensitivities can keep this cascade of inflammation going on and on and on and these other issues. Mast cells are the driving force behind long COVID. If you want to get over long COVID, you have to treat it like mast cell activation. So. That's been my experience with myself, my clients. I overcame long COVID within a period of about five or six months. Um, and it was all by removing these irritants, identifying them, calming down the immune system, removing all synthetics, taking only plant-derived supplements. But the truth is less is better with mast cell activation. The more things you're doing, the more things, different things you're consuming, putting in your body, the higher probability you're gonna cause some type of reaction. So hope this video has been helpful. It's not meant to be medical advice in any way, shape or form. This is just for educational purposes only, based on my experience, the experience I've had with my daughter, my clients, the scientific studies I've read. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on my website, nsickness.org, or you can put your questions in the comments. Thanks for watching today, and hope to see you guys soon.